Hey y'all, welcome back to the Faithful Farmer Mama. Today, I thought I would share with you some of the projects that we still have happening here on the farm. Lots of new stuff going on, but lots of old things that need to be revisited. Join me today as we go through a couple of those things. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please go down below if you would and find the subscribe button. Click that along with the little bell and that will let you know when I post a new video. I've not been very good at posting every week, although I try really hard. So if you don't mind going down below and hitting that subscribe button, that will help me a lot to know that you are still interested in seeing our upcoming videos. If you are not new to my channel, thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me along the way of this journey. So today I thought I'd pull you along and show you a couple of things that we still have going on here in the farmhouse and also outside on the farm. We always have stuff going on and many of you may not know this, but you may. I am a mom of three. I homeschool two of my children, both girls. My son is off beginning his life and I am a very busy mom between extracurricular activities like MMA, xylophone, co-op, um, ballet, um, archery. There are things always going on here on the farm. Then shuffle in all of my animals like the ducks, the chickens, the goats, the horse, the donkey, the dogs, the cats. Um, not to mention that one duck is hurt uh, has a limp. He's getting better. I know y'all have seen him on Instagram. If you haven't, uh, head on over to my Instagram account, The Faithful Farmer Mama, and look that up. Uh, he actually hurt his leg a couple months back, and now he's by himself, but he's doing great. Um, but I also have goats that are expecting. I have a dog who is blind and has diabetes, and we must give him a shot twice a day uh, of insulin. And then we have... Um, chickens. I have chickens and eggs incubating at the moment. And I have goat mamas getting ready to have babies. If I haven't already said that, that's kind of taking priority in our life here on the farm. So all of my extra stuff that I want to do, like my kitchen, the hutches, all the woodwork needs to be painted. Um, we want to do pull out all the carpet in the bedrooms and put hardwoods. We also want to tie all the bathrooms. I have our half bathroom that we're still working on. There are lots of projects along with my quilting and scrapbooking and card making. So there's always things going on. And I thought today I would just share a little bit of that with you so that you can see what goes on here on the farm. <laughs> This is Mr. Duck with the hurt leg. Look y'all, he's kind of walking. Nothing goes to waste on the farm. I actually put all of the greens that I pulled out of the garden into the chicken area.
As you may remember, we moved the chicken coop a few months back and put all of the chickens, turkeys, and ducks here. However, we did have one more set of chickens down here in with the goats. Our guineas have been coming and hanging out down here a lot lately. And we had about six or seven chickens down here, but after the ice, which I thought was going to kill them all, um, we've had a pred predator that has been stealing all of our birds. This is the remnants of a Polish chicken, the last chicken that we had had down here. And now they're all gone. All we have is one rooster and he has actually made his way back up that road to the chicken coop. And I think it's because there are no females down here anymore. He just didn't take care of them. We had six and now we have none. Just the guineas hanging out down here with the, the goats. And we only have two goats down here right now and that would be our buck and then Miss Jude here. Because we lost all of our chickens, we have decided to incubate lots of chickens. We actually have, I think, a dozen chicken eggs in here. And then we have nine, there we are, nine duck eggs in here. One turkey egg. And the weather's been great for us to start planting seeds and putting my onions in the ground. So I also started seeds today, things that belong in cold weather like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, even kale. And don't forget to label everything because I promise you will not remember. So this garden here is our bean garden and was my cut flower garden, but I've noticed that the moles have come down here and taken over and I had a lot of problems with this garden this year. So we are gonna actually re-till it and re-lay uh, soil on top of some of it and just use it like we did the bean patch. Bean patch did wonderful. So this is also one of those works in progress. We will be um, retilling this and using the whole thing as a bean bed. On a little sweet note though, how about these beautiful crocuses? Here we have our beds from last year. This is our old potato bed. This year we're gonna actually plant onions and garlic here. I'm getting ready to clean it all up and plant my onions. This here, these are my garlic plants. I had started these late fall, probably end of November, and they are doing beautifully. We'll harvest them probably late July to early August. Our ground is warm enough where I can actually work it still, even though we're getting ready to have a cold spell. 
this was pretty easy so that I could put my onions in the ground. I'm just taking the uh, rake and going over the top of it to get out the larger weeds, which you saw me throw to my chickens earlier. These beds actually were done with the cardboard method where the bottom of where the ground part is was four or five layers of cardboard and then we put topsoil and compost on top and used this as our potato beds last year. The method has worked phenomenal for keeping out the weeds. So planting my onions was pretty easy. I use both plants and bulbs. Um, I have yellow onions and then a white onion and then also a red or purple onion that I planted and here you see me just planting the seed starts is what they're called they're just plants that have already been started and then I will harvest these probably before I harvest the bulbs I really needed to get them in the ground though And then we have these two mamas, Shirley and Mary, who are expecting and just taking a break in the stable, or as we've been calling it, the labor and delivery stable. Shirley. Sure, girl. And then there's the greenhouse, which is still in progress. Still working on trying to cut all the angles for the roof line, and then we're gonna put this beautiful thing outside. Here in the house, we are still working on a couple of projects, one being this vent hood. I have yet to finish this vent hood, and although it looks really nice from this view, I still need to finish sanding underneath here as you can see the dark wood in there. It's in a very awkward position from how I can sand because of the stove top here. So I need to finish doing that. And we also need to finish putting the tile in these two places here that match the tile underneath here. Another project that we still have going on is this hutch. I am going to be painting this hutch. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be actually painting it white. I've kind of gotten tired of the old faux finish that's on it. Plus I want to display all of my beautiful transferware dishes on this hutch instead of just being in piles. And if you saw my video last week, you know that we are still working on this bathroom. Still absolutely loving how beautiful and bright it is. The tile is still beautiful to me. It just needs to be uh, finished being put in here and pieces being cut. I just haven't had a moment to actually do that with so much going on, but loving the look. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed going around the farm and checking everything out with me. I've loved being able to share a lot of it with you. And if you could say a little prayer for us that I could get some of these projects done before spring gets here and the gardens take over our lives in the spring and the summer and into the fall. So thanks so much for being here. I'm so thankful that you're part of my YouTube family. Bye guys. See you next time. So as of this morning, March 3rd, I had already edited this entire video and there are pictures in here where goats are still waiting for kids. But as you can hear and see, last night, middle of the night sometime, Shirley had two baby girl kids. One is Mabel and the other one is Billy. Today is Bill, our horse's birthday. So we thought we would share the name Bill 
in their names. So this is just a sweet little surprise and Shirley is a fabulous goat mama. Ha, 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 ha. 